Perfect. Nice. Hola, amigos. That's all I meant to do. <laughs> My name is George Motes, and I know a lot about hamburgers now, Sam. Yeah, that's... that's obnoxious. Ah, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I've traveled all over the world, and I've seen the way the American hamburger has been translated. It's fascinating. Today, I present to you the Langosh Burger. This burger is a deep fried burger that has roots in Eastern Europe. It was invented by some friends of mine from Brooklyn of a restaurant called Corzo. It's a burger that's wrapped up in Hungarian dough called Langosh. This burger is cooked separately and then wrapped in dough and plunged in hot oil. Yeah, that's right. Unquestionably, we're about to go on a science adventure right now because look at how much shit is going. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a flat top, I've got a deep frying setup, and I have, I'm gonna have flour and dough. It's gonna be crazy. So for the record, I've never done this before. I made dough. We know how to make burgers, I know the ingredients, and we are going to try this for the first time on camera. Anything could happen, right? <laughs> Let's make a burger. Let's make a deep fried burger. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. Whoa, yeah. There you go, nice work. Food wrapped in dough and cooked somehow is nothing new. And you ready for this one? There's a good chance that it predates the hamburger! Oh. <laughs> but I want you to think about this now. Let's take a little trip around the world and think about all of those dough-wrapped foods that exist today. Okay, you've got empanada of Argentina. Hello. You've got the dumpling of Asia. You have the pierogi of Eastern Europe. You have the pastel, the pride of Brazil. You have the Cornish pasty from Cornwall, England. So now that you know the relatives to this hamburger, let's get cooking. This is gonna be a mess, <laughs> a mess. Keep oil at about 350, 375 degrees, somewhere there. Flat top should be somewhere around 420. <laughs> I'm making bacon. If you cook bacon in a big strip, it's, you know, it's gonna be sticking out the end of this thing. Or you break it in half. I don't wanna break my bacon. I'm gonna cook it in a circle. Just like that, see that? Look at that. Let's roll some dough out. A Little bit of flour, flour in my hands. My dough, I made this dough. Here's the thing, I called my friends Otto and Maria Zizak for the recipe for their long gauche dough because it's so tasty and so authentic. And they said, yeah, sure, we'll give it to you. And they sent me an email with the ingredients, but not the recipe. And they said, we do it by hand and by eye. Figure it out. So I'm obviously on my own here. It's very similar to a pizza dough. It's pretty stretchy. It should be kind of stretchy. I can't quite get it to stretch out the way I want, <laughs> but it will. Oh shit, I've already got a hole in it. Oh no. That's not gonna be good. Maybe? No, I don't know. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Baking is not my thing. Get the yeast, raise the dough, proof the dough, whatever it's called. I don't know, I'm not a baker, I have no idea. It's looking like about that big is big enough, I think. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna find out. I have a preformed patty from a ring. Look at that, look how perfect that is. Here we go. Big burger. My burger journey has led me around the United States, but it's also led me around the world. When I travel, I pick up things. Mementos from all over the place. You wanna see some of my things? Check out my collection of curiosities from around the world, including this thing on my head, which is a boinia. It's a gaucho's boinia from Argentina. Had to wave that one in, right? Of course, silly. This is black sand from the black sand beach in Iceland. Sorry, Iceland, I stole your sand. This is ridiculous. This is a toy, oh, oh shit. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> oh, this is from a vending machine in Tokyo. It's a porta potty. It's a little, you know, public toilet, but it's complete with a little toilet inside there. I'm not sure why they made those, but I had to buy it. Oh, these are toothpicks. These are the best toothpicks in the world from Brazil. Check this out. Friends of mine in Copenhagen put me on the cover of their magazine. Woohoo! Let's make burgers. Look at that. Ooh, that's beautiful. It's a thick burger, so a few minutes. You also don't want to overcook this. It's going to be in the deep fryer for a minute. Emmentaler first. Down. The bacon. 
the pickles, and then the mustard. I'm probably doing this all wrong. I'm sure the Zizaks are laughing at me right now. I think this is done. I think this is ready to go. This is going here like this. It's like an upside down burger, you like that? Look at that, perfect. Here's the hard part. I'm not sure what I have to do here. I think I have to wet my hands to get it to stick together, but I'm gonna try to stretch it around. Aye, did it work? Okay, look at that, hey. Is it working? I don't know. How do they do this? I pinch, I pull. <laughs> that <sound> right. <laughs> I pinch, I strain. You ready? People, I don't know what's gonna happen here. This could be a complete disaster. But look at that thing. It's pretty cool, huh? Oh, it's definitely got a hole in it already. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna gently lower this in here. Ready? Oh, get it gentle. Oh, so much for gentle. Oh, God. Well, okay. What just happened, I'm not sure. Oh, God. Oh, oh okay. Holy shit, this might actually work. <laughs> now, you imagine what's going on inside this thing. It's hot oil, which means the insides are still cooking inside, which means that the cheese hopefully is melting nicely. I'm gonna try to turn this over gently. Didn't work. Hang on, one more. Did I make a mess over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go, hey! Look at that! You're supposed to fry long gauche dough until it's golden brown. It's looking pretty golden, I think. I don't know, I think we're done here. Look at that. And everybody out there watching is thinking, what's gonna happen when he puts this in his mouth? <laughs> I tell you right now, I'm sure you are. The deep fried long gauche burger from Corzo. Hang on, we'll go. <laughs> it's kinda hard. There you go. Ah, that's really hot actually. Holy shit. Oh my God, we did it. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh my goodness. They fucking did it. The cheese is melted. That is amazing. That looks really good actually. It's still too hot to handle. Jesus Christ, it's hot. Oh, mmm, oh my God. Holy shit, that's it. Mmm, oh, good. Hot? It's hot, you know. <laughs> Fuck, that's delicious. That's ridiculously good. Whoa, what do you think? I got a hmm backstage there. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's good, right? Mm. I've made a mess in the name of science, in the name of hamburgers, but it actually worked. Mm. The deep fried Langosh burger, because why not? <laughs> See you next time. Oh. Hmm. Amigos! <laughs>my name is George Motes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to First We Feast and get more episodes of Burger Scholar right here. Where?